Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading, weekly singles love reading for Taurus. Oops, there we go. Uh, we have a single person. This could be a Virgo energy. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Someone here is definitely exploring their feelings. Definitely someone is ready to date. And yes, they are single. <laughs> it's an action someone's taking, see? Dating and courting. It could be just someone asking you if you're single as well. Yeah, so someone who's a little indecisive. Yeah, they're not so sure. They're just exploring. Yeah. So we have, yeah. So there's a little confusion here. This person, like I say, they're a little indecisive, but they're exploring their feelings. Now, this could be someone who's kind of, you know, failed to recognize something, some kind of fear, something within themselves. But, you know, I see a Cancer energy, definitely a Virgo energy. But it's a person here. It has to do with someone facing their fears, doing some shadow work, something they don't really want to look at here. <laughs> yeah, somebody who just isn't going to make some kind of a decision. It's just exploring here. Yeah, so it has to do with reciprocity. This person's a little worried you won't reciprocate, you won't feel the same. That's what they're a little afraid of here. But it's about facing it and taking the action. Yeah, this is likely someone who doesn't really want to be single. It's likely been single for a while. Yeah, the fear of being single, you see. Oops, there we go. And we have three of pentacles. So it has to do with going down this path. So it has to do with cooperation and compromise. Yeah, it has to do with compatibility. So interesting. Yeah, I feel this is somebody who is a little worried you won't reciprocate. You won't feel the same. So... That's where I feel. They're just exploring. They may even just drop a couple of hints here. <laughs> you might not even see this coming, to be honest. Whoops. Taurus. Yeah, there's the card that fell out. See, there it is. Yeah, so it's somebody possibly crushing, or it's a single parent energy. Yeah, this person's curious, you see. They're not sure. There's something, things that they want to know that they don't know. This could, like I say, it could be just a crush, or like I say, they might be a little concerned if you have children. Um, a very logical person, someone who's choosing their words wisely, you see. So it has to do with, until this person feels confident. So there's the energy of being confident. Now this came out of the other deck I'm using at the end. It was still in here. So there you go, you see. So there's a little, I feel a little lack of confidence here. Yeah, but until this person's confident, that's where I feel. They're just kind of exploring how they feel. So, yeah, this is definitely a person who doesn't want to be single. They're, you know, kind of lonely, reminiscing here, longing for love. Yeah, they don't, I don't feel this person wants to be single. Yeah, they may have been rejected by a few people, but it's also energy of not missing an opportunity. See, this person's been there, done that. They've been rejected before. So this could be something this person needs to see about themselves they're not seeing. Uh, there it is, the new. So this is energy of taking off the rose-colored glasses, seeing things clearly. Uh, they know they need to start something. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, look at that, though, walking away. Yeah, I, I feel this is a person who doesn't, they're, they're not seeing something, is what I feel. They're not about themselves. Okay, now they're either indecisive or they start something and walk away. I feel they get, they've been rejected. You know, that Or it's just that fear of being rejected. Okay, so tell me about the two of swords. This person is looking for a soulmate. They don't want to be single. I can see it. Yeah, choosing their battles, something that's worth fighting for, becoming more decisive. So someone who's indecisive is now becoming more decisive. But they're choosing their battles, something that's worth fighting for. You see, <laughs> they got a bit of a fighting spirit, but yeah, the fear of rejection. So yeah, they're definitely somebody with some cancer in their chart here, Taurus. Yeah, Virgo, Cancer energy, Pisces, uh, maybe Scorpio. But yeah, it has to do with this person taming the beast within themselves. So the energy is recognizing the beast. Everybody has that little beast within themselves, you see, and that's what this person here, that beast is indecision. It's about following through, you see. 
And I do see multiple opportunities. This is someone who's in a hurry. Like maybe they come on too fast, too strong. They don't realize it. Okay, and they get rejected. So, but it's also, like I say, they don't want to miss an opportunity. So they may have missed an opportunity. Okay. And it could be yourself too. So now this is definitely a person who's emotionally mature, but they do still have that little fear of, of being rejected that you won't feel the same. You see, you know, it has to do with being compatible, having things in common. So you may have a common energy with this person. But yeah, I, I feel they're feeling the they're in their feelings here. You know, definitely this person feels things very deeply, you see. But the fear that you won't reject that you will reject them, that you won't be interested. It's a big energy for this person, see? Yeah, they're planning for this to be successful. So they definitely have a sense of pride, you see. This is somebody who definitely likes to be a good provider. They like to give. They actually can be very generous. You know, they are willing to cooperate and compromise because they want something long term. I definitely feel this is someone who um, probably, you know, is a bit of a chaser. They probably come on a bit too strong and they haven't had a lot of success because of it. But I definitely feel they have a very positive energy. They can be very, they can be very generous. Okay. Long term planning victory they want this victory here yeah there it is success you see the aha moment the light bulbs going off something they're failing to see i feel about themselves maybe they walk away they don't fight they give in too easy and just walk away they definitely feel like they're someone who feels things deeply but they definitely feel like somebody who you know maybe their ego's getting in the way i don't know but they definitely are someone who's possibly comes on a bit too strong too fast emotionally express they wear their heart on their sleeve mm. tell me about the four of cups yeah taurus virgo capricorn there it is compatibility yeah so some of you may have multiple opportunities you know, somebody's definitely in a hurry you know, someone here who may not be your type or you're just not interested and then we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Definitely an energy of success. So this is somebody here who gets chased. See, they're used to being chased. They're used to being chased. They like to be indulged. But that, and your reason is, is because I feel they don't chase it. They don't chase anyone, I feel, at some point here because of the fear of rejection. <laughs> it's funny how that's happening. Yeah, see, weighing the pros and the cons. Yeah, somebody who's back and forth on and off here, but whether something will be long term. Yes. Like I say, this is somebody going through a bit of a struggle here. You might have, like I say, you may be the one with the multiple opportunities here. Somebody here definitely um, isn't very confident, somebody who is. A little bit of Leo energy, a little Sag energy. But it, yeah, see, it's about taking things to the next level. This is someone who weighs the pros and the cons, see? Um, whether you're going to feel the same. But it's also about taking it to the next level. So this is somebody who's a bit of a runner. So this is something this person probably didn't even recognize or see about themselves. So there it is, releasing things that no longer serve them. Yeah, so this person definitely does not want to be single. I can see it. If you have a choice between two, Taurus, you're going to look for the person who's most compatible, that team energy, the team spirit here, right? Um, somebody where you have things in common. It's possible, like I say, you have a couple of people. You may decide one person you have more in common with than the other. Well, either one of these energies is could definitely work for yourself. It all depends on someone's you know, lifestyle, their behavior. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. See, someone's looking. They're looking for something more, yeah? We got a person who's stuck and stubborn, refusing to budge. You see, somebody here being selfish. This is someone who's failed to see. They don't really want to look at it, so it's shadow work. I, I definitely feel someone here is doing shadow work. It has to do with being decisive, knowing what they want before they start something. You see? Someone's doing shadow work. 
you can see it their inner self here tell me about this more about this king of cups oh it's all coming out here it's all going to be illuminated things will start to be clear the sun is here yeah so we have a couple see two people showing their true selves showing their innermost selves their fears their likes their dislikes all these things that's what it's all about your innermost selves your innermost feelings yeah cancer pisces scorpio energy here taurus yeah the energy of you know looking for someone who reciprocates you want reciprocity it's like you both i feel you both have a fear of someone not reciprocating uh, ego getting in the way fear of the unknown tell me more about this two of wands this is two people at a crossroads you know it's that path in life choosing the right path making the right choice yeah definitely courting and dating so there is some love coming in okay someone's taking action some of you got a choice between two maybe you're dating two people and you need to choose knight of swords yeah so we got someone here who's now confident see that's energy of someone being confident about a decision what's worth fighting for choosing their battles mm, very logical person i'm seeing three kings here which is interesting enough <laughs> yeah see somebody oh, definitely someone keeping secrets keeping something to themselves very wise okay somebody with a lot of inner wisdom likely someone like i say they dated a lot of people but they haven't had anything long term or nobody they see going in the distance but whoever this is they're they say they're coming towards you knight of cups yeah someone has a little feels like there's no hope see this is a, someone who feels like you're out of their league or the situation's out of reach they're focused on something negative here the cups that are spilled regret woulda coulda shoulda see the two of cups someone who should have focused on that two of cups yeah this is how someone conducts themselves see taurus you're looking at this it has to do with having faith there's someone here you don't have a lot of faith in see you're not you're not feeling it for someone here yeah someone who's not giving they're not reciprocating you may have given you may have even sacrificed and given but yeah, I definitely feel like there's one person here who definitely um, is coming towards you. Definitely, I see a lot of deep emotions and feelings, possibly someone keeping those feelings to themselves until they feel confident that you feel the same as what I feel. So it's two people, like I say, sharing, reciprocating, sharing your, your fears, your innermost selves, putting in the work. See, someone's doing shadow work. Yeah. Facing doing the inner work. Everybody has inner work to do. Okay, especially if you've been in a relationship before, or you haven't had anything long term. It's about looking at it. It's about seeing it. Okay. Sometimes people don't see. Okay. They don't see or they don't want to face it. You see? But this is somebody who's definitely facing it here. They want to build. So it takes two people to build a relationship, two people to put in the effort wow they want this to work i can tell you this person wants this to work so you know, this is an energy of having that faith see two people being on the same page getting each other There's someone here i feel like you're not uh, with definitely a little reminiscing so somebody here could be reminiscing or you could have someone uh, missing you but it's more than likely uh, the energy i feel right off the get-go is someone who's longing for love but lacks the confidence to make a decision well, maybe they've been in a relationship before you know it was a lot of work it didn't work out uh, there could be baggage they need to let go of see there's the aha moment the truth see seeing the truth the light bulb going off mm -hmm. the epiphany it's just a realization of somebody knowing they need to let go yeah, old let, letting go of habits the way someone behaves maybe lifestyle changes willing to compromise cooperate see the three of pentacles mm. but i do i definitely feel here you know, the queen of cups is someone who puts a lot of effort a lot of work into something and then when someone doesn't reciprocate it's an energy of faith these are two cards of faith you see 
Someone feels the situation's out of reach or someone's out of their league. Tell me about this, the star. Yeah, we got the King and Queen of Pentacles. Love that when it comes up because this is the couple that work together and stay together and often play together. So it's work together, play together, stay together. Yeah, being grounded, practical, sensible. See, releasing. So and definitely you could be the King of Cups. You could be or the King of Pentacles and King of Cups, vice versa, because we have we have a couple here. So and we have someone here who is definitely, you know, wanting some kind of truth and something to do with uh, success, cooperation, compromise, and compatibility. So someone's hopes and dreams, see? So someone realizing their hopes and dreams. This could be successful, you see? It could be successful. That's what someone's realizing. This could really go somewhere. But it's about having faith. Yeah, we have the Empress, Taurus. There it is, the birth of something new. Yeah, you have someone here definitely who's, you know, like I say, you know, they're hiding something, keeping a secret, something to themselves. Yeah, someone who's afraid of rejection, of sharing something with you. And it could be their fears that it won't be long-term, it won't be successful. Okay, there could, it could end up in a divorce. But it's really about two people needing to be on the same page. Now, we know the King of Cups can be very generous. Somebody who likes to give gifts. So you can see that energy here. But there it is. Someone keeping their options open, looking at all the possibilities. See, it has to do with making a decision. Maybe some of you, Taurus, have a few options. Or maybe you feel this person does. Okay. But it has to do with looking at the, at the possibilities. You see, the, I feel the possibilities are endless between the King and Queen of Pentacles and the King and Queen of Cups, this couple. This is the same two people. Stable, okay, focused on money, long-term planning, okay? It's an energy of feeling comfortable, a comfortable life, a comfortable home. But I don't know what this person's keeping to themselves. They're in their head here. You know, they definitely have a lot of inner wisdom. Definitely, if they've dated a lot of people, they probably have a lot of options, people chasing them. You, know, you might not be too comfortable with that. But it, I do see just dating here for some of you. Definitely just dating, you see. So, nothing wrong with dating um, a few people, as long as you're just dating. Um, going out, hanging out together, talking. You know, there's equal give and take. It's all good, but yeah, see, it has to do with uh, this wand, the passion. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, well, it could be to take something, taking things to that next level, but I, I feel there's a, you know, I don't know if it's a fear of int int intimacy or what, but um, I just feel like we have two people here who um, are doing some inner work, facing some kind of fears here. Yeah, because you definitely, I feel, are putting in some work. The Empress is, you know, showers their abundance and gives to someone and then sits and waits with open arms to receive. You're waiting to receive, you see. And if you don't receive, you keep your options open. There it is. It's about partnering up. See, a lot of, to do with safety and security, being financially stable, you see. It takes two people. Yeah, someone's moving kind of slow. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, someone's a little more apprehensive that whether this will be long term. But they're hoping it's successful. I can see it. Yeah. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone's is definitely physical attraction. Yeah. You know, someone's making up some kind of excuses. There could be a little fear of, um, it looks more like emotional intimacy to me okay being emotionally intimate showing their secrets okay you know, sharing all their secrets sharing all their innermost feelings yeah this person's definitely working on themselves i really do feel it something they fail to see fail to recognize this magical opportunity this is someone who doesn't want to miss this opportunity so in other words get to work <laughs> Start building, yeah, perfecting the craft and skills. We also have to remember 
want the Queen of Pentacles to be very gracious. Nobody's perfect. Okay, nobody's perfect all the time. Absolutely not. See, it's someone who's being a little cautious, careful what they wish for. But, you know, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. See, playing it safe. You see, someone keeping all their feelings to themselves, offering one little cup, making up excuses. I feel it has to do with just being on the same page and someone's not so sure you will be. And I, I definitely feel it's to do with... Um, I don't feel it's so much as someone keeping a secret, like a secret as far as hiding anything. It's about their own innermost selves, their their secret self. See, it's an energy of two people needing to um, just be an open book, you know, with the, the Hierophant there, Taurus. Playing it safe, being cautious, being careful what you wish for. I feel both people are sharing that energy. Yeah, see, there it is. This is to do with an opportunity. See, this is about planting the seed, putting that best foot forward, putting in the effort, you see? It's about being confident about offering what you're offering, uh, what you're starting. So, wow. Okay. Uh, but I, you know, like I say, it has to do with this person taming the beast within themselves and becoming more confident. And maybe it has to do with their financial stability. Maybe this is actually a person who's, it's a single person who's ready. They have everything they need, but they don't have love. But the thing is, is why? What are they not seeing? Or why are they indecisive? See, they're becoming more decisive. You can see this person doing the inner work. See? Going from indecisive to being a little more decisive to, be, to becoming sure, to be confident. This The King of Swords is somebody who's confident, okay, about a decision that they make. They're trusting their intuition, their inner wisdom, their inner knowing, you see. It's a person who has a lot of inner wisdom. Tell me about that high priestess energy oh, see it's about opening up emotionally putting all the cups on the table seeing the bigger picture yeah this person's a little you know it has to do with long-term planning long-term commitment what if it's not successful you see after all this hard work this is someone who's definitely worked hard for where they're at so i feel it's a little fear of um, if it isn't successful, then then what? They have to um, give out all their money. See, there's definitely that uh, money and energy. But I, I feel it's a person who kind of makes up a lot of excuses here. It could be physical intimacy, somebody, okay? It's the energy of somebody who's de definitely very passionate, very creative. It's, finds you very attractive, very sexy, sensuous energy. Yeah, maybe they're just a little bit shy at first, you know, because I, it, it's apprehension, it's shyness, but it's a story. The story someone tells themselves in their head, you see, that's the way I'm seeing this. That's what it is. So it has to do with just going with the flow, some kind of change, you see. Someone here is ready for change. They do not, this is someone who doesn't want to be single. I feel they, they're in a hurry. But I do feel this is someone who's at some point in their life came on very strong and moved too quickly and something didn't work out. So now they protect themselves. They're kind of stuck and stubborn, maybe a little selfish. Maybe they're not seeing that they're selfish. I don't know. I feel they're going to. It's all going to be exposed here. Okay, It's all going to come out in the open. This is definitely someone who walks away. They start something and they walk away. Stubborn. They don't want to, they, they didn't cooperate or compromise. So it's an energy of this person having to look at that. Maybe even both of you. Taurus, yeah. We have an emperor. Oh, yeah. Emperor and emperor. So this is someone who's definitely stubborn, you know, stuck, refuses to budge, refuses to give in. <laughs> Mm-hmm. They want to start something, though. Definitely doing the inner work. Tell me more about this emperor. Very logical, very disciplined, strict even at times, okay? This person likely is very 
disciplined and even strict with himself. Yeah, money's a big deal. Yeah, see, taming the beast. That's what they need to do. They need to tame that beast within themselves, the ego, the stubborn and stuck energy, someone who's uh, stuck, okay? Uh, they've refused to budge. They don't want to give in. Well, the Empress, it's an energy of someone meeting their match, though, because we have the King and Queen of Cups, the King and Queen of Pentacles, and the King and the Emperor and the Empress. So there it is, manifesting. See, they actually have all the tools. They have everything they need. They just need to tame the beast, you see, within themselves. So this hasn't so much to do with you. You know, if I seen the Queen of Swords here, I would definitely be saying you're teaching them how you want to be treated. Taming that beast. But this is them having to do this within themselves. So there it is. Confirmation. Yeah, they want to offer you the cup. You know, they want this opportunity. They don't want to miss this opportunity. Okay, It looks like an opportunity of a lifetime, but it has to do with being patient, investing, showing that they're invested. And it's about doing things at the right time. Okay, the timing of this manifesting. They have the tools. They have the information. They know. They are there. They have everything. It's the it's the fear of rejection, or you won't feel the same. You know, they're in their head. It's the thoughts in their head. You see, they tell themselves a story in their head. So it's kind of got some negative energy. They're definitely single. I will tell you. This so is someone who probably, you might know who this is. In fact, you may have had a, may have, maybe you've had a go around and they're coming back around looking to see if you're still single. But if you have a person who keeps making excuses, <laughs> mm -hmm, they're definitely going to be. But I feel it has to do with you know, some kind of insecurities here. Ego, yeah, see, it's moving away to avoid a disaster. This is someone who's definitely learning a lot of lessons. It's also an energy of taking the time to get to know somebody before moving on because they are someone who starts something and then walks away if they don't get what they want. They don't budge either. So a lot of ego, okay? A lot of ego with this person. They definitely are someone who likes to be a good provider, you see? They definitely work hard, but I feel like it, yourself here, okay? Yeah. You could be the king, you could be the queen here, or the emperor, the empress. Yeah, so there it is, someone looking at all the possibilities here. They're looking at the details, feeling a little apprehensive. So I feel they're going to offer you this, or they're hoping you'll indulge them. They want you to take this. Okay, so it's an energy of being open to receive. Maybe that's the beast within yourself, is being open to receive. You see, maybe you're really good at giving and not good at receiving or vice versa. Mm -hmm. I see what's happening here. Yeah, see, something is coming to an end. See, something has ended, the death of the ego. So there's been some sort of a rejection. And I feel this person's kind of like they're looking ahead. What happens if this ends, you see, too? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I'm going to tell you, I, I feel some of you are just going to move on here. Ugh, I'm done.